so a ray of light is coming and it strikes the mirror and the angle measured is 30 degree and it is being measured with the um, surface of the mirror now the angle of incidence uh, would be measured using a normal and normal is a line which is perpendicular to the surface at which the light is striking so this is going to be the normal and it is made as a dotted line secondly uh, we are going to measure this angle the angle from the normal till the incident ray and since we know that this total angle is of 90 degree so the angle here is going to be 90 minus 30 equal to 60 degree now uh, the light reflected from the surface and it is striking the mirror b at an angle of 90 degree with the surface of the mirror b so when we draw a normal over here this is again going to be perpendicular to the surface of the mirror the angle between this ray and the normal is going to be zero degrees over here when the ray reaches mirror and it strikes the mirror such that the angle of incidence was zero degree so according to the laws of reflection it would be reflected back on the same path such that the angle of reflection is also going to be zero degree The question says two mirrors A and B are inclined at an angle of 60 degree to each other. So this is the mirror A and this is the mirror B and they are inclined at an angle of 60 degree with each other. Light strikes mirror A at an angle of 30 degree as shown in this figure. So a ray of light is coming and it strikes the mirror and the angle measured is 30 degree and it is being measured with the um, surface of the mirror. Now uh, in the first part we are required to determine the angle of incidence at mirror A. Now the angle of incidence uh, would be measured using a normal. And normal is a line which is perpendicular to the surface at which the light is striking. So this is going to be the normal and it is made as a dotted line. Secondly, uh, we are going to measure this angle, the angle from the normal till the incident ray. And since we know that this total angle is of 90 degree so the angle here is going to be 90 minus 30 equal to 60 degree so the angle of incidence at a is going to be 60 degrees determine the angle of incidence at mirror b now uh, the light reflected from the surface and it is striking the mirror b at an angle of 90 degree with the surface of the mirror b so when we draw a normal over here this is again going to be perpendicular to the surface of the mirror the angle between this ray and the normal is going to be zero degrees over here so the answer for this part is going to be zero degrees next describe the path of the reflected ray after it leaves mirror b now um, when the ray reaches mirror and it strikes the mirror such that the angle of incidence was zero degree so according to the laws of reflection it would be reflected back on the same path such that the angle of reflection is also going to be zero degree the laws of reflection would be followed here and it would be reflected back at the same path so i would be writing here it would be reflected back along the original path or the initial path that it was following when it was coming towards mirror B. Next part says a plain mirror hanging on a wall is used to form the image of an object. State three characteristics of the image formed. So whenever the image is formed using a mirror, uh, there are some characteristics of the image. We have to write any three of them. First could be it is always virtual second it is always upright and third could be it is always laterally inverted similarly it is at the same distance uh, from the mirror as the object from the mirror and it is of the same size as the object so since we have to write any uh, three we could write these three as the characteristics of the mirror of the image formed by the mirror